The cruise line industry has been one of the hardest hit during the pandemic. Now the CDC has eased the no sale order, but the new rules are still strict. Reporter Margaret Cavanaugh has more on what this all means. Tony and his wife Jenny Barnett love to cruise. I've traveled to Cuba, I've been to uh, Asia. I was in Asia like two months before the whole thing happened. COVID has hurt the travel business. Tony's wife books trips for people, and he hosts a daily YouTube show with the latest news in the cruising industry. Cruising's really taken me around the world. After eight months of a no sale order by the CDC, restrictions are being eased. It's a big deal for cruising. There's a lot of people that, you know, of course those businesses want to get started again. And then there's a lot of people that have put money down on cruises that keep getting canceled and rescheduled and pushed forward. And now, you know, at some point, cruising will resume again. It will resume under new strict rules. The CDC calls for mock voyages with volunteers playing the role of passengers to test the ship's ability to handle the new COVID restrictions. And they must get certified. They have to prove to the government that they can cruise safely and they have to do that without getting paid. And so it's it's going to be another few months of just burning through money without any revenue coming in. So it's a uh, it's probably been super tough for him. Officials say there will be strict rules about leaving the ship, extreme cleaning and 100% testing of passengers and crew members. This is going to be uh, embarkation and, and screening, and that involves testing and, and, and uh, how strict we are with our passengers and our crew and our contractors. Uh, then there's going to be uh, the public safety on board and, and public access. You know, where are you going to have to wear masks? What's the proper social distancing measures? They do have to jump through a lot of hoops to get sailing again, but the hoops are necessary for the safety of the passengers. Experts predict that it'll take a few months before we see the next voyages. This is an exciting time because they know at some point, and it'll probably be next year, but at some point they'll be able to return to the cruise ships, which I think is exciting. Tony's got cruises booked each month and can't wait until he's able to set sail again. I'm Margaret Cavanaugh for News 3.